I think it's a big problem for most airlines. If you think about where we are right now, I think there's a blind alleyway, quite frankly. Um, most airlines have about seven days worth of booking visibility. So it's, it's not exactly like these guys can plan ahead um, with, with much vigor. I think in terms of your broader question about, you know, what the outlook is going to be for summer and vaccination rates, I think you made a very interesting point. You know, to go on a trip this summer, you need to go somewhere that is well vaccinated. That's the first hurdle. And I think it's hard to do given the varying vaccination rates between the UK and the broader continent. Um, how vaccinated will millennials be, as, as, as you alluded to in your question, across both the European market and the UK? And how many will have had their booster by the summer? The answer is probably not many. Um, you'll be potentially having also to be comfortable with the idea of vaccine passports as a traveler, PCR tests, quarantining. I think all of this causes friction and complexity, particularly for families and certainly for corporates. And I think the recovery is going to be a lot slower, therefore, than people think going forward. I think it is going to be a stumbling summer and then we're going to move into another bad winter. And that means higher cash burn and probably more rights issues. Pretty downbeat assessment there uh, coming from you, Mark. There has been quite a, a good amount of government support coming into the space. Lufthansa alone, I believe, re received a nine billion euro bailout last summer from the German government. To what extent is government support here providing a cushion to some of these airlines to keep going? And are we likely to see further casualties unless more support is provided? Well, I think all of these airlines on their balance sheets are playing a game of, of cat and mouse about when to raise next. To your question about the government support that's coming in, a lot of that has been debt related and a lot of the other issuances in the market have been debt related. We've actually seen very few equity raises across the market. So for me, this is not a liquidity issue because airlines can tap the bond market and their governments should they want to. But for me, this is a net debt resizing issue going forward. In other words, what is the right amount of net debt for these businesses? And the problem is right now is not only is there that lack of visibility that I talked about, there is also this underlying problem about what will the business look like going forward. And the biggest question that names like Lufthansa are trying to contend with is when will corporate travel recover? You heard your previous reporter talk about 2025. A lot of airlines are playing guesswork here. And in Lufthansa's case, it makes up 50% of their revenue. So unless they know when corporate's going to recover, they don't know what their business is going to look like going forwards.